This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. And good morning, Wednesday, October the 25th. I'm Ray Collins. And I'm Stephanie Roberts. Thanks for joining us on a Wednesday morning. Well, it's taken a long time to get into October before it feels like yeah. October, but a noticeable difference as you head out the door this morning. If you're not a cool weather fan, be warned, you're going to think it's cold. Yeah, I felt that too. Yeah? It's indeed a difference. I didn't wear a scarf or mittens. Uh, I would hope not, since you <laughs> hail from Buffalo. That's true. I do. And there's hail there as well. <laughs> Probably. Let's go to, let's go to John. Uh, sweet weather outside right I now. I love it. Oh, it's absolutely great. Great. And in fact, it's going to be a trend, I think, that carries us into next week. We'll talk about that in a few. Becky in Omayaka, ready for this? Traditionally a cooler spot, but she's reporting in with 52 degrees there. She'll probably be in the 40s tomorrow. Most every place else reporting mid 60s with uh, Richard and Northport coming in at 66 degrees. A little mix of clear and cloud out there right now with that colder air running over the relatively warmer Gulf waters, picking up a little bit of those low strata Q clouds and kind of kicking them back over the coastline. But no rain falling across the region. It'll be a dry morning commute. Daytime highs will top out comfortably in the mid 70s with hopefully mostly sunny skies. Complete forecast coming up in a few. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic right now. A buildup continues there on Cortez as you head westbound out toward Anna Maria Island. Otherwise, the usual buildups around State Road 70 and 301. The Bayfront little blip there as you pass by the Sailor and Nurse statue and also rejoin 301. Farther south now on the map, South County, nothing much to speak of. Just a little slow down there to the bypass at uh, 41. 602 right now on your Wednesday morning. Our top story this hour, two departing senators are taking shots at President Trump and the White House is responding. Serena Marshall has the latest on this new GOP battle. It has all the makings of a civil war. Senate Republicans rejecting the behavior of their Republican president. It is dangerous to a democracy. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake announcing he will not seek a second term because he is disgusted. Flagrant disregard for truth and decency. The reckless provocations, most often for the pettiest and most personal reasons. The public shaming an hour after President Trump visited Capitol Hill pushing tax reform. And on the same day, Bob Corker, the influential head of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said this. And I think that the worst of it is going to be just the pull the basing, if you will, of our nation. The president responding on Twitter, calling him a lightweight and incompetent. Corker tweeting back, same untruths from an utterly untruthful president. Hashtag alert the daycare staff. Former White House advisor Steve Bannon claiming a victory against the establishment, saying another scalp for his movement. The White House seems to agree. I think that they were not likely to be reelected, and I think that shows that the support is more behind this president than it is those two individuals. And overnight, in a scathing Washington Post op-ed, Senator Flake going even further, writing it's time to stop pretending that this is somehow normal, and for the next 14 months, he will only be guided by the dictates of conscience. The president can only afford to lose two votes in the Senate, and at least for now, he still has them. In a late-night vote, Senators Corker, Flake, and McCain voting with the White House to repeal a regulation that makes it easier for consumers to sue credit card companies and banks. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. Meanwhile, more and more people are demanding answers about the ambush in Niger that led to the deaths of four American service members. The original mission was deemed so low risk that the soldiers did not even have armored vehicles or drone support when they set off on October 3rd. But a senior military source is telling ABC News that less than 24 hours later, a new set of orders came in to take one of the top ISIS and Al-Qaeda targets in Africa and that changed everything. That ambush lasted nearly an hour before the Pentagon says the team requested support came under attack from approximately 50 enemy using small arms fire, rocket propelled grenades, and technical vehicles. President Trump has yet to answer questions on the specifics of the ambush. Members of the Senate Armed Services Committee are expected to ask questions about the operations in Niger during a classified briefing later today. Consumer news, the cost of a college education continues to rise. The College Board's annual report found the price of college rose faster than inflation again. The average annual cost rose by $300 at public four-year colleges, and that's for in-state students. As for private colleges, they saw an annual increase of $800. A majority of students receive some financial aid. And employers are raising the academic bar for new hires.
But a new Harvard Business School study shows more employers only are seeking applicants with four-year degrees. There are currently over six million job openings nationwide, a near record number. The study suggests that companies customize their application process to make sure all qualified job seekers are still considered. In Florida, a woman who was married at the age of 11 is trying to change state law to prevent that from happening to other girls. And she appears to be making some forward movement. Sherry Johnson is pushing for a bill that would prohibit anyone under the age of 18 from being allowed to marry in Florida. The first step toward that goal was accomplished yesterday when a Senate committee unanimously approved the bill she is backing. Florida does not have a minimum age for marriage if there is a pregnancy involved as long as a judge approves. Statistics show 72 people under the age of 16 were married in Florida from 2010 till 2016. Johnson is now 58 and she said being forced to marry at age 11 is a pain she still struggles with. That's why she's fighting to change the law. Federal authorities are saying that a Los Angeles businessman stole hundreds of thousands of dollars that came from sales of the Florida Live the Dream license plate. Money from that Live the Dream plate is supposed to go to groups that work with the homeless and help prevent infant deaths. But the president of the company that's created and markets the license plate is accused of transferring that money into his own bank account. He's also charged with 15 other counts of wire fraud. Air travels will notice a big change at Miami International Airport security checkpoints. Passengers are now flying through these security lines. That's because two weeks ago, airport officials, along with Miami-Dade Aviation and the TSA, launched two new automated screening lanes. This allows travelers to get through these lines faster. The automated lines help enhance security thanks to new technology, and they cut down on time. They're in use in several other airports across the country, and the major difference is you don't have to wait for the person in front of you. If someone's moving slowly, passengers can go around them. And airline officials say they're happy this came out before the holidays. Worked diligently to launch uh, these lanes well before Thanksgiving to give you know TSA and other staff members uh, plenty of time uh, to acclimate to the new process and the new technology. The airport hopes to add even more lanes over the next year. Caught on camera, a surveillance video out of West Palm Beach leading to the downfall of a Florida deputy. The cameras capture the deputy going from room to room throughout an elderly man's house, and investigators say he was looking for prescription pills. Chuck Weber has details on how that video led to the deputy's arrest. This is surveillance video from the West Boynton home of 85-year-old Mo Rossoff, two days after Hurricane Irma, about an hour after rescue crews rushed Rossoff to the hospital. We see a law officer here in the home. We're told this is the video that led to Palm Beach County Sheriff's Deputy Jason Cook's arrest. In the video, at the Kitchen Island, we see the armed deputy pick up at least two containers and appear to put items in his pocket. The arrest report says when detectives confronted Deputy Cook with the surveillance video, Cook said to enter the home, he used the garage code in the dispatch log from the earlier visit by other deputies. The report says Cook admitted to taking pills from the counter, a pain reliever called Tramadol. Investigators say they recovered other meds from Deputy Cook's patrol car. He's now charged with armed burglary and grand theft during an emergency. Along with the video, the homeowner's family released a statement saying, we were outraged and disgusted when we viewed this. The family members say they believe Cook also stole money and jewelry from the master bedroom. The arrest report says it's unknown what Cook did in the bedroom. The family's statement says if Cook was working under the influence of medications, he may have posed a threat to the public safety. The statement reads, in our opinion, had we not had this video, this cop would still be out there posing a threat of danger to the community he swore to protect and committing more crimes. Family members also say they hope Deputy Cook is treated like any other defendant. He is currently on paid leave, and the elderly homeowner who was taken to the hospital eventually passed away. Also caught on camera, new video has been released of a former sheriff deputy crashing his car into his ex-wife house. You're not going to believe this video. Watch this. Happened in North Florida. Tim Taylor backs out of the driveway, waits for a car to pass, and watch this now. Once the car passes, he starts going rather quickly toward his ex-wife's home. Here we go. And he admits he drove under the influence at the time of the crash. He said he tried to commit suicide because of marital problems. He was sentenced to two years probation. And in Juneau Beach, this teen, lucky to be alive after a shark left him with quite a story to tell. 17-year-old Jason Hartle says it happened so fast, but he remained calm. Hartle and a friend were both surfing near Juneau Beach 
when all of a sudden something grabbed his foot and pulled him off his board. He quickly hopped back up and paddled to shore. I was just yelling to him, I got bit by a shark, I got bit by a shark, but he was like 50 yards to like the side of me, so he couldn't really hear me. I was just really proud of my son because he took it and he was really calm in the situation and did what he needed to do to get himself to shore. Well, he wound up getting 22 stitches for that hobby. He says once he is healed, he plans to continue surfing. His mom says, why can't you skateboard like other kids? Yeah, really. <laughs> Probably more likely to get hurt skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> the pavement is harder than the water. Let's yeah, just hope those shark true. bites are a little more uh, few and far between. And people at Moat will tell you, you know, it's very unlikely to get bit by a shark, even though, you know, we all think we're, you know, it's a very dangerous thing. Well, we know they're out there. I mean, you yeah. know, just hopefully nothing provokes them. Hopefully they stay way out there. Yeah. <laughs> now, we have some uh, beautiful weather, obviously, but it's even going to be a little bit cooler tonight than it is this morning. We'll talk about that in a minute. Also, first alert traffic, and the FAA is investigating after an Air Canada jetliner was involved in what could have been a disastrous situation at a busy California airport. We'll tell you what happened and why the pilot said he was having communication problems with air traffic control. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I know, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Many people with Medicare may be able to get extra benefits and don't even know they're available. You may be able to get dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage included in your plan. Call the Medicare Coverage Helpline to see if you can get the extra benefits you deserve. The Medicare Coverage Helpline is now accepting calls. You may be able to get extra benefits, including dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Buckwald. Making sure you go to the doctor and taking all your medications as prescribed can help protect your health. To make it easier, you may now be able to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that includes coverage for dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Help protect your health by choosing the right plan for you and get all the benefits you deserve. Call to see if you may be able to get extra benefits, including dental, vision, and prescription coverage. Don't miss the annual election period deadline for Medicare Advantage. Call now. Call 800-711-7200. That's 800-711-7200. You need a good laugh? Starting November 1st at the Player Center, everything that can go wrong does go wrong in the smash hit comedy, Moon Over Buffalo. This wild Broadway series production shows what happens both on stage and off. Contact the players at 365-2494 or at theplayers.org. The show must go on with Moon Over Buffalo. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi.
A 68 degrees the air temperature. Our dew points are continuing to drop. We're at a 55 degree dew point now. That feels fantastic compared to the 75 degree dew point we were at yesterday. I mean, it's just a world of difference. Winds, though, are picking up, as we mentioned they would, coming in at about 14. We have a small craft advisory in effect, and that will be on until uh, this afternoon. It'll be a little bit carried on a little bit longer the further out you go 20 nautical miles or more it'll be in effect till at least four o'clock this evening 62 degrees watch you arcadia at 63 63 Mayaka, northport at 67 62 venice 67 in bradenton and parish comes in at 63 as well so big ridge of high pressure has built in back behind the front that passed through giving us our little bit of rain showers yesterday in fact we've had two fronts move through so with that high pressure ridge and that northerly wind surging more dry air more cool air moves into the area so that tonight as those winds start to settle a little bit and kind of calm down we'll see tomorrow morning's temperature probably about 10 degrees cooler than this morning's temperature in the uh, in the mid 50s the only thing that might stop that from happening is cloud cover we could get a little bit of gulf water clouds move across the peninsula and that could keep our temperatures up but you know, right now we're looking at some probably some clearer skies during the overnight secondary front moves through here on saturday that could bring us another round of showers when it combines with moisture down to the south around the caribbean could be a little low pressure area developing here the uh, hurricane center gives that a chance of developing cooler today breezy at least for the first half of the day and then we'll look at a few gulf clouds moving through from time to time so there's that 50 percent chance of development for these clouds down to the south the chances are this will lift north and have a better chance of developing just before it exits the Caribbean and moves into Gulf waters and then it'll get picked up by that secondary cold front that I told you about coming this way this weekend and pushed through South Florida possibly as a depression uh, certainly I don't think it'll be a big bother to us other than it will enhance our rainfall chances here's our future cast put into motion the showers are gone we'll look for some clearing skies today Maybe a few fair weather clouds, but other than that, there's no rain in today's forecast. Forecast looks pretty nice, actually, except for boating. North wind coming in at about 20 will give you choppy to rough conditions out there on Bay and Inland Waters. At least initially, things will settle down a bit as we head into the evening hours. And then over the next several days, continued fair weather for at least three days. Beautiful weather, actually. And then as we head into the weekend, cloud up pretty quickly, and we get that rain chance on Saturday. We'll monitor that low-pressure area, but it looks like it will be mostly South Florida's problem. And then as we head into Sunday, we clear out, and we get another reinforcing shot of cooler air, keeping us cooler for next work week. Back to you. All right, well, enjoy the sunshine. Thank you very much, John. Checking out the roadways this morning. We do have pretty quiet conditions in Bradenton. It's a great time to get out the door. No problems over the bridges in Palmetto and I-75 moving well through Manatee County. A little bit of a slowdown eastbound there at Fruitville Road. There was some earlier fire activity, and uh, we're likely still seeing that being picked up there. We will continue to update that situation for you. Beaverage and Clark look to be moving just fine, and no accidents or delays in South County. It is 619, and for the second time this year, an Air Canada jetliner has been involved in what could have been a potentially disastrous incident at San Francisco International Airport. As reporter Vic Lee tells us, this time it was too close for comfort. This was the second time Air Canada was involved in a potentially serious incident at SFO. In July, one of their planes came within 59 feet of crash landing into other planes. The pilot mistakenly thought the taxiway was a runway. Sunday night, Air Canada Flight 781 from Montreal was on approach to land when air traffic control believed another plane was on the runway. Air Canada 781, go around. Air traffic control repeated the instructions to go around six times. The pilot did not respond. The tower operator then activated a flashing red light to alert the crew. The light is very bright. Handheld by the tower operator usually brings it down out of the ceiling holds in his hands, aims it directly at the cockpit of the airplane. Harry Sharp is a retired Delta pilot who's flown for some three decades. The lights are so bright and so effective that they're very difficult to miss. Fortunately, the Air Canada jet landed safely, but the crew never acknowledged the tower's radio orders or the warning lights. Air Canada 781 tower. Yeah, I got 781 that's going with the radio here. That's uh, pretty evident. The question now, what happened? Air Canada issued a statement which says in part, upon landing, the crew was informed the tower had attempted unsuccessfully to contact the aircraft. However, 
the message was not received by the crew. A broken radio, maybe? It's almost impossible for me to comprehend a radio failure going on that long in our modern environment with modern radios. These are the things that happen when you're flying yeah. that I don't want to know. I know. <laughs> those passengers are probably unaware back there. I would hope so, Good actually. You know, they've got a job. 621 right now, still ahead. Do you cross the road while looking down at your phone? Starting today, that could cost you in Hawaii. Lawmakers hope their new plan will cut down on the number of pedestrian-involved accidents. We'll discuss. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Are you you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Will you qualify for a medical-grade back brace? Call Back Brace America at 1-800-683-9262. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No small I mean really moves me. Wow. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder. High performance style. Let the art of Fiat move you. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota Flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents. But these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now, it's nice having a, a comic daredevil in your backyard. Bella uh, Knox <laughs> came by The View yesterday, and I, I saw this and popped in, took a picture. You had him on your show. We did. So much fun. He is actually going to be doing his uh, stunt that he performed on America's Got Talent over the summer on national TV mm -hmm. at Hunsader Farms on Saturday and Sunday, one of, of course, our great local places mm -hmm. to head out. He was uh, playing Pumpkinhead with us yesterday. He managed to get his whole body inside a balloon. 
He's the nicest guy ever. Oh, I think that's my favorite part about him. You know, a, a renowned daredevil that lives right here and truly a great guy. Yeah, he really is a fun guy to talk to as well. But you got a funny line. After he got inside the entire balloon, then he popped it. He goes, you said your hair popped the balloon probably. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's right. A lot of hairspray up there. So I took a bunch of pictures of the sequence. You can check out uh, my page at uh, Facebook.com slash Ray Collins ABC7. And you'll see that and uh, much more content. Check that out anytime you get an opportunity. Welcome back. 625 right now on your Wednesday morning. And a new law takes effect in Honolulu today. It allows police to find pedestrians for crossing the street while looking at their electronic <sighs> devices. I'll never notice. You're giving me a ticket? What? I'm busy. As ABC's TJ Holmes tells us, police hope it cuts down on pedestrian-involved accidents. In this morning's GMA First Look, yes, we know it's dangerous. And this morning in one major city, texting while walking is also illegal. A new law taking effect in Honolulu today. If you're caught looking at your device while crossing the street, you'll get slammed with a fine of up to $35 for your first offense. The reason behind this? Recent statistics pointing to thousands of injuries involving texting while walking. And just last year, a study finding that the number of pedestrians killed in traffic accidents had risen 22% since 2014, with increased smartphone use partly to blame. And then, of course, there are videos like these this person walking smack into a wall. I don't know about the fine, but I have to say I do think it's a dangerous activity. So could this law be coming to your town? We'll have more coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kendis Gibson, ABC News, New York. When pain strikes here, here, or here, fight back with Aspercrim with Lidocaine. It desensitizes aggravated nerves for maximum strength relief with no odor. Wherever pain hits, choose Aspercrim with Lidocaine. Relieve the nerves, stop the pain. My digestive system used to make me feel sluggish, but now I take Metamucil every day. It traps and removes the waste that weighs me down, so I feel lighter. Try Metamucil and begin to feel what lighter feels like. Mom still thinks Burlington is the place for coats. This time of year, she's absolutely right. Fashion coats, quilted coats, gloves, scarves, boots, hats. All the great brands at a fraction of the cost. Burlington may not be called Coat Factory anymore. But they still have lots and lots of coats. Big news from Advil. Advil Liquid Gel's Mini, our first concentrated pill that rushes powerful relief. A small new size that's fast because it's liquid. <laughs> You'll ask, what pain? New Advil Liquid Gel's Minis. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Celebrate the end of summer with big savings during the Jeep Celebration event. Going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers. Or save big on a new sleek and stylish Jeep Cherokee for as little as $18,999. Drive off today for your next great adventure in a brand new Jeep Renegade for as low as $15,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Enjoy fine wine, craft beer, and delicious foods, all while supporting a great cause at the 16th Annual Suncoast Food and Wine Festival presented by Publix, Saturday, November 11th, from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota Polo Club. Taste wines from around the world and sample cuisine from the area's finest restaurants. All proceeds benefit a variety of local charities and Rotary Club projects. For tickets and information, visit suncoastfoodandwinefest.com.
You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills. Wow! Stop stains and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything. But with Couch Coat, my couch is always protected, looking as good as it did the day I bought it. Get your Couch Coat for just $19.99. And it's reversible in brown and cream, like two Couch Coats for the price of one. Order right now and you can double your offer. Get a second Couch Coat. Just pay a separate fee. Order right now. Call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat. Call now or go to couchcoat.com. So call 1-800-943-0710. That's 1-800-943-0710. Call now. When severe weather strikes, trust ABC7 First Alert Weather. We're here for you. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, a late night shooting has police looking for a suspect around downtown Sarasota. We'll have the latest. Manatee County voters will decide if teachers get a pay raise. We'll tell you when a special election will be held. And the Tampa Bay Lightning will be on the Sun Coast today for a major announcement. We'll tell you more on what's planned in Lakewood Ranch. Those stories are right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC 7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Welcome back at 631 on a Wednesday morning. I'm Stephanie Roberts. I'm Ray Collins. A bit of a chill as you step out the door today. Unusual. And a little bit breezy as well. Nice yeah. to have some fall-like feeling out there. We're going to check in with meteorologist John Scalzi with our first alert forecast to see if this is going to hang around. Yeah, it's going to get colder, actually. All right. Yeah, so bring out the mucklucks and throw a log on the fire. We're looking at a little bit of cloud cover that kind of moves across the region from time to time, coming in from Gulf waters, but nothing really serious. Nothing is producing rainfall. And certainly we'll have a dry morning commute. The showers are all down to the south, and locally everything is pretty quiet. Winds, though, are up. Small craft advisory in effect. Our daytime high and absolutely beautiful mid-70s with a mix of sun and clouds most likely. Tonight we get a little bit cooler coming in in the mid 50s. We'll talk about that, how long that lasts. Mark in Palmetto, one of our weather watchers, 59 degrees. And Cooper in South Central Sarasota coming in with 62 degrees currently. Back to you guys. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic. You'll see some buildup there on 70 east of 75 in the eastbound lane. Also look at the other side of your screen out to Cortez heading westbound toward Anna Maria Island. Let's check farther south now into Sarasota County. Uh, nothing to show on Fruitville, but Stephanie on the way in saw some uh, buildup of uh, fire trucks. They'll have details of that in one of our top stories coming up. South County mostly clear at 632 now on your Wednesday morning. Our top story this half hour, Sarasota detectives are investigating a shooting from last night. Police responded to a shooting on North Lynx Avenue about 9.15 p.m. Police say the victim suffered non-life-threatening injuries and is in stable condition this morning. We'll keep you updated on this story as it develops right here on ABC7. Developing overnight a house fire with injuries near Fruitville and McIntosh. The fire is now contained, but people are still being asked to avoid the area this morning. One man was airlifted to the hospital, and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. The state attorney's office is now reviewing a case involving a man who shot his 19 and 12 year old stepsons. Back in July, detectives say the stepfather and the 19 year old were arguing and the teen pulled out a gun. The stepfather was also armed and fired at the teen. Investigators say a 12 year old was also struck. The Bradenton Police Department sent the case to the state attorney's office to be reviewed and they will determine if charges should be filed. Police say the stepfather was cooperative with investigators and the two stepsons have since been released from area hospitals. Just a reminder, if you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking and local news, you can get alerts right on your phone. You can go to the App Store if you're an iPhone or iPad user and download our new news app. You'll want to search WWSB or My Sun Coast. This is a new update for iPhone users. Android users get the new version automatically. The Manatee County School Board has finally made a decision about raising property taxes in order to pay teachers better wages. As our Dwayne Lindo tells us, it's now up to the voters. And the motion passes three to two. A three Thank to two vote that will cost the district um, 300000 approving an agreement with the Supervisor of Elections, conducting a special election in March of next year. Former teacher Linda Boone agrees with the decision due to the lack of pay increases in previous years. If we cannot compensate our teachers in a more 
equitable manner that we are going to continue to see people leaving the profession entirely, leaving the district for other districts where they do compensate their teachers fairly. Manatee School Board Chair Charlie Kennedy agrees, saying the sole reason for placing the additional millage referendum on the ballot is competition. We hear a lot about Sarasota County's um, salaries and that's they, they pay those high salaries and those teachers deserve it, but they use their additional mill that's been approved now three times by Sarasota County voters. Manatee County Supervisor of Elections Michael Bennett also spoke Tuesday, suggesting the district could save money by moving the question to the primary ballot in August. But it was Scott Hopes and John Cologne who opposed the special election altogether. Cologne says it's a matter of asking Manatee County taxpayers to pay more than their fair share. We have just been given by the taxpayers of Manatee County an increase of half a percent on our sales tax. I think it's imperative that the taxpayers see that we're good stewards of public dollars and that we're doing the things with that money that we said we were going to do. And according to Boone, now that it will be on the ballot, there should be an amendment stating where the money will go. I think the public would be willing to give more money for teachers to be paid more or for students to benefit directly. I think what the public is concerned about is that it just will increase the general fund of money and that it will be used for things that maybe the public doesn't approve of or that teachers see as unnecessary. Dwayne Lindo, ABC7, your Suncoast News. So that election is set for March 20th. It's a Tuesday. Sarasota County will hold its renewal for millage that same day, March 20th next year. The collection of storm debris from Hurricane Irma is wrapping up, and now the final pass will be made through all neighborhoods for collection. So regular waste rules are now back. That means new material needs to follow the rules we've always had. You place your material in a container, it gets bundled into four-foot lengths. You can't mix the regular material with storm debris, household items, or recycling, and leaves, of course, go in a special vegetative container. After this final pass, crews will have collected 55,000 cubic yards of storm debris. That is equal to the amount of yard waste they would typically pick up over two years. Manatee County is setting a strict deadline for storm debris pickup. If you live in Manatee and the crews haven't been through your area yet, they must be on the curb by Monday, October 30th. The county says more trucks are now on the road, and as long as everything's out there by Monday, this whole process will be done. You can take your yard waste to the Lena Road landfill for free from now until this Sunday. Happening today, the Tampa Bay Lightning will be on the Sun Coast today to make a major announcement. This is interesting. The Lightning and Lakewood Ranch are expected to announce plans to build an outdoor hockey rink. It will be at the Premier Sports Campus, and the project will be funded by a grant from the National Hockey League and its Players Association. So how come? Well, the NHL hopes the rinks will expand hockey's popularity in each of the league's 31 markets. How about that? National Geographic ranked the Northport, Sarasota, Bradenton area the 14th happiest region in the country. Researchers examined statistics like healthy eating, lifelong education, civic engagement, financial security, vacation time, and of course, dental checkups. What? I always floss. The number one city in the country was Boulder, Colorado. The Naples, Immokalee, Marco Island area, a very different area, ranked number four, 11th rather in the top 25, the only other place in Florida. Dentists? I Nothing against <laughs> dentists, but that doesn't necessarily make me happy. Necessary, no. but not happy. Yeah. Well, after it's over with. Maybe it means have a nice, we're doing bright it. smile. Right. You feel good. The I teeth agree. are clean. I agree. Finally, uh, that's that, a funny inclusion. Though. One of the credentials was uh, good dental uh, health. Yeah. So we made it, though. That's the good news. We were saying that's earlier. Right. You're from Chicago, he's from Ohio, I'm from Buffalo. We don't make happy lists up there very often. No, that's because of the cloudy skies, though. Don't right. you think? I probably. The, yeah. You know what's funny, though? They keep saying, though, that uh, dental hygiene has an incredible impact on the health of the rest of your body. See? There, there it is. You go. That's why I went last week. I wasn't happy about it, but I did it. But I did. I go today, actually. <laughs> oh, I had to be reminded. We have a uh, chance of uh, some cooler temperatures coming your way, even cooler than this morning. Talk about it in a sec. Okay, and also coming up, first alert traffic. And a new study suggests that the number of previously unknown genes that are existing that can point to a higher risk of breast cancer. We'll tell you how doctors hope this research can lead to new ways to fight the disease when we come back. Hi, I'm Alan. This is Bob with a couple of chefs from Aprons Cooking School. Bob, what are you making today? We're going to do a mole-style chili. Holy mole. Yeah. All right. Beef and chocolate, man. 
Goes Can't go wrong people. with that. Mole, and Alan knows this, but just to let you know, it's just like, it's like a, a spicy chocolate sauce. It's a Mexican dish and it's pretty cool and we're gonna do chili with that. In here, I just have some ground beef and I have some onions cooking. No big deal, it's kind of fun. This is something where at home you can kind of go through the cabinet in the refrigerator. We're gonna put some pumpkin pie spice in there. Ooh. Why are we doing that? I don't know, why? Because we can. There you because go. Because we can. A little pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna put some chili, you know, package of chili powder that you buy. A little bit of that in there, if Alan would mix that around for gotcha. me. And uh, with the chili, you wanna sweeten it up some. So we're gonna take a little bit of brown sugar and throw Ooh. that in there. Okay, so now we've got a little uh, pumpkin pie spice, chili, all that cool stuff. Now we're gonna add some really cool things to this that make it a little bit different. Some strong coffee. Nice strong coffee right in there with that. We're gonna add some fire roasted tomatoes. We've talked about these a lot. We like these, any kind of chopped tomatoes, but these fire roasted tomatoes are really, really good. Now, whatever kind of beans you want, you know, right? Whatever sure. kind you want. We're gonna use black beans with this because that's what the recipe calls for. Drain them, definitely drain the beans because they could be salty. You know, we're gonna drain the beans, put those in there. So then, it doesn't call for it, but you gotta put some hot sauce in there. There you go. A little bit, I'm not using sriracha because it's a Mexican dish, so I'm putting a little chipotle Tabasco. Then we're gonna add a little beef stock, and what you wanna do is let this cook for about, it's chilly, let it cook till it's done, you know, about 45 minutes, and at the very end, chocolate. Beautiful, that looks great, Bob. Well, thank you. Starting tomorrow, be sure to stop by our Publix Aprons kiosk, Simple Meals area, to pick up this beautiful recipe and all the ingredients that go with it. Good job, Bob, that looks great. Yeah, we're gonna eat some. Absolutely. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio takes the modern compact luxury crossover and injects it with personality. Every crossover should be this good to drive. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $1.99 a month, or get 2.9% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi. I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-307-2040 now and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you the number one mistakes retirees are making with their investments today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-307-2040 to have your free information kit rushed to your door. Again, that's 800-307-2040. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking an account executive to join our winning sales team. This is an outside sales position covering the Tampa DMA. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. I went in skeptical and came away impressed. Stelvio can spring from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, a segment best. 
Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Winds are starting to pick up this hour. Now they're coming in north at about 14. And I think as we head into the morning hours and even part of the afternoon, we're going to see those wind speeds increase even a little bit higher, up to around 20 miles per hour. So it's going to be a blustery kind of uh, breezy start to the day. And a small craft advisory is in effect through 2 o'clock at least, even more as you go further out into Gulf waters. 68 degree air temperature, got a mix of sun and clouds up. Not sun quite yet, but clear skies and cloud out there. And as we head into the morning, it'll be a mix of sun and clouds. Dew point coming in at a cool, crisp 55 degrees. Love it. We have had dew points in the 70s for so long that this 55 degree dew point is just such a beautiful sudden change. It feels so nice out there. 61 degrees in Parrish, Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch at 62, 61 Mayaka, 62 Northport, 66 in Venice, 66 in Inglewood, 68 degrees Longboat Key. It's time to open up the windows, freshen up the house. That's going to be the case this afternoon as this high pressure ridge builds in and our daytime high temperatures only top out in the mid 70s. Frontal boundary has moved through. That's the second one in 24 hours. And another frontal boundary is on the way. That one's coming our way over the weekend. Now, it could bring us a chance of rain. But once it passes through the state, we'll have another prolonged period of some pretty nice weather. So we're kind of in that uh, situation that you get during the fall when you have a frontal passage every four or five days. And that's pretty much the case here. We do have a little trough of low pressure down in the Caribbean. Going to be watching that possibility for some development there and if it did it would lift north coming in close to the Florida Peninsula by the weekend. Now it is tropical in nature but mostly it'll be just an addition of moisture to our atmosphere which will allow us a good chance of those weekend rains. Some of them could be heavy. Cooler today, breezy conditions and a few golf clouds from time to time. Those are the weather highlights. Forecast looks like this for boaters. As I mentioned, small craft advisory winds breezy 20 miles per hour, 20 knots to start off your morning. And then as we head into the afternoon, maybe reducing to 15. But still, choppy to rough conditions out there until those winds subside. Forecast calls for several beautiful days, followed by that weekend rain chance, then clearing Sunday. And another little shot of cooler air for Monday and Tuesday. Back to you. All right, sounds good. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic. We're seeing building volume now both directions at 301 and State Road 70 and some volume picking up on north in Palmetto as well. I-75 still moving pretty well down in Sarasota. Things look good coming across Fruitville, Bee Ridge and Clark Roads. Starting to see a backup though getting onto I-75 at Fruitville Road. And in South County, no major accidents or delays to report. In this hour's Health Smart, breast cancer affects one in eight women in their lifetime. And now a new study reveals the number of previously unknown genes that can point more to the risk for the disease. As ABC's Serena Marshall tells us, that discovery could unlock more ways to predict breast cancer. Genetic testing for breast cancer. For women who have a strong family risk, it's the blood test that could help them determine next steps. But beyond the notorious BRCA1 and 2 mutations, Many of the genetic causes of breast cancer remain undiscovered. But an international consortium of researchers aim to change that, analyzing 10 million DNA segments from hundreds of thousands of women. The team discovering 65 distinct genetic mutations linked to an increased risk of breast cancer, changes not present in cancer-free women. Importantly, each of these genes they found contribute only minimally to overall breast cancer risk but several together could increase risk more significantly. And while doctors won't be offering the test anytime soon, it gives women more hope for personalized medical testing and treatment in the future. The ultimate hope? To create individualized treatments based on a patient's unique DNA. With this Medical Minute, I'm Serena Marshall, ABC News. Entertainment news now. An actress says that Harvey Weinstein's film studio enabled his alleged sexual assaults. Dominique Hewitt filed a lawsuit against the Weinstein Company yesterday claiming that Weinstein sexually assaulted her back in 2010. She is now suing the company for general damages and for the cost of medical and psychological care. Fifty other women have accused Weinstein also of sexual assault. Actor Robert Guillaume passed away overnight in Los Angeles. The 89-year-old was best known for his leading role in the TV show Benson, which ran from 1979 to 1986. That role won him an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy. He was also in Soap. 
He only captured an entire, entirely new audience in 1994 when he was the voice for Rafiki in Lion King. He battled prostate cancer during the last two years of his life. Guillaume leaves behind a wife and four children. And once again, Robert Guillaume was 89 years old. Sir Elton John getting an award, not a Grammy, a Tony, or an Oscar. The music legend and AIDS activist was this year's recipient of Harvard University's Peter Gomes Humanitarian Award. In fact, he'll give a lecture in two weeks as part of the awards ceremony. Good for him. Absolutely. 10 to 7 right now. Up next, your day's top local news headlines. And we'll tell you about last night's baseball game, the first one of the World Series, and an unusual wager between the governors of California and Texas. All in good fun, of course. We'll tell you what the two state leaders are offering each other after this. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Did you know that Sarasota County was the first in Florida to be recognized as an age-friendly community? Whether you're 22 or 82, we strive to be the best place to live, work, and play. A community rich with opportunities and things to do for people of all ages. On Saturday, October 28th, we're advancing this movement with a free community event featuring live entertainment and hands-on experiences. You won't want to miss our entire community coming together for an age-friendly festival presented by the Patterson Foundation. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. This is an important medical announcement. Talcum powder products from some of the best-known brands have been linked to ovarian cancer. Any woman who has used a talcum powder product and has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that women with long-term use of talcum powder, including baby powder for feminine hygiene, can increase the risk of contracting ovarian cancer. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to women who should have been warned about the risks of ovarian cancer with long-term use of talcum powder. Call the talcum powder hotline. If you or a loved one used talcum powder and were diagnosed or died from ovarian cancer, you must call now. Call 800-570-7599. 800-570-7599. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Back 653 on your Wednesday morning. And here are the top stories we're following for you on the Sun Coast today. Police in Sarasota responded to a late night shooting on North Lynx Avenue near downtown. The victim's condition is listed as stable this morning. Taxpayers in Manatee County will vote in March on raises for teachers. The school board made that decision at a meeting Tuesday night. And our secret is getting out. National Geographic has ranked the Sun Coast as the 14th happiest region in the country. The only other area in Florida to make the top 25 was the Fort Myers Naples area, number 11. Categories include civic engagement, lifelong education, healthy eating, and of course, dental checkups.
The traffic makes us all happier, and we're off to a pretty good start this morning. First alert traffic showing uh, building volume southbound on 301 coming out of Bradenton, and also out in Lakewood Ranch, uh, State Road 70 busy in both directions. A little bit of a backup getting on Fruitville at I-75, but I-75 itself, accident and delay three, free through both Sarasota and Manatee counties, so some good news there. Some great news from the weather department, John. I think this will be the nicest day we've had since spring, really. I mean, absolutely beautiful daytime, high in the mid-70s. Same thing true tomorrow. A little bit cooler tonight, though. Watch for that. The winds will be up today, so small craft advisory in effect through the afternoon. Next chance of rain will not come until the weekend. Then on Saturday, it's possible that tropical moisture may combine with another front to perhaps produce a heavy rain event. We'll be monitoring that and keep you updated. All right, World Series underway, and Texas Governor Greg Abbott challenged California Governor Jerry Brown to a friendly wager ahead of the game. That's Brown on the left. Governor Abbott is offering a six-pack of Houston brewed beer and Texas barbecue. He also said win or lose, he'll donate to relief efforts toward the wildfires in Northern California. On the flip side, Governor Brown met Abbott's offer with select wines from Sonoma and Napa Valleys, the areas affected by the wildfires. And by the way, the Dodgers won game one last night, three to one, and it was a steamy one. Oh my goodness, John, did you see some of the temperatures? 103 100. at yeah. first pitch. I yeah. mean, the players Makes the ball miserable. go further, though. A dryer it does. <laughs> I guess you could be happy about that. Happy but about that. Yeah, some rough conditions for those games. Yeah, yes. Hot again today, but maybe not quite as hot. Okay, that's good for them. And not hot here, which is great for us. Oh, so yeah. enjoy a beautiful day on the way. A little bit cooler out there this morning with a gorgeous sunrise on the way. Good morning, America's up next.